How's it going boys and girls, my name is Gary and welcome back to the Care Club. In today's video, we're going to dissect the differences between a local script and a server script. So let's talk about the server script first because that is the easiest to understand. What server script does is it makes things happen for everyone to see. So I got a server here that represents a Roblox game and I got myself, Glowy, and Coffee here playing the game. If the server were to use a server script, the server can create this really clickbaity Robux coin here with a message that says, pick me up for free Robux. If that were to really happen, everybody in the server is gonna be like, oh my God, that's free Robux. Give me Robux. Uh, Robux. And everyone is going to rush there to pick it up. But a local script is different. If a local script was used to create this exact clickbait Robux coin, the coin will appear for everyone locally, which means everyone will see their own versions of the coin. So the best time to use a server script is when you want something done that everyone can see. And the best time to use a local script is when you want something done that only the player can see. So for example, a inventory UI is something that only a player should see and no one else because you don't want everyone to know how many rare pets you have in your inventory. So let's do a split screen test to show you what I mean. So there is three screens open up with each player. If I open up my UI with a daily reward, only I can see it and Glowy and Coffee won't be able to see what I'm doing and they can do the same thing as well. So that's the basics of local script and server script. I hope that this short video is simple enough for everyone to understand. If you got questions, join the Care Club Discord server where you can chat about it or you can just leave a comments down below. So thank you boys and girls for watching. I'll see you in the next video in game or at the Care Club. Take care everybody.